What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I wanna to talk about blemished solar panels. You may run into these when you're shopping for solar panels and looking for the absolute best deal out there. Sometimes you can find these for 33 cents or less per watt. So that's a really attractive price. But what are they and what should you be looking for when you're considering buying some? When solar panels are manufactured, just like with any other product, some of them won't pass the QA inspection when they're done. When they do their testing, they're looking for aesthetic blemishes as well as physical defects. Sometimes they're really small and hard to see. Most people would never even know anything was wrong, especially once you get it up on your roof. But sometimes they're actual physical defects that can affect the production of the solar panel, which is why you need to be careful buying these. Some examples of defects would be cracking or chipping, bending of the solar cell inside, bent or scratched frames, and discoloration of the solar cells. So solar manufacturers grade their panels from A to D. A panels are virtually flawless, and B panels, like you see in this picture, have minor blemishes that do not affect the electrical characteristics of the solar panel. Grade C panels have some sort of a defect that actually affects the production of the solar panel. In other words, one or more of the cells isn't quite working right, so you're not going to get full power out of the panel. And grade D is not even worth talking about because they're basically broken and not usable at all. Another category of blemished solar panels would be something that was damaged in transit. These would not be graded by the manufacturer, they would not be flash tested or inspected by a third party company. This category of panel is probably the most dangerous because you're working directly with the wholesaler and the manufacturer probably will not honor the warranty in this case. However, you may get the best deal with these types of panels because the wholesaler will probably be desperate to get rid of them. That was the case with one of my subscribers recently who wrote in the comments about a really fortunate situation that he got with some blemished solar panels. He ordered 6 kilowatts of solar panels for 1200 bucks, which is already a great deal, but when he got them they were worse than expected. So instead of freight shipping the whole thing back and taking a refund, the wholesaler just knocked another $400 off the price. Now keep in mind, this is rare, this is the exception, not the rule, but you can get really, really good deals looking at these types of panels. You can find C-grade panels almost any time you look for $0.35, $0.30 cents a watt or less. But sometimes you can find B-grade panels, which don't have any problems producing electricity, for about the same price. I guess there's too many people that are picky about how their solar panels look on their roof or something. If you're going to consider buying blemished solar panels, make sure that you ask whoever you're buying from these questions. What's the nature of the blemish? Is it cosmetic? Is it mechanical? Is it a scratch and dent? What's the issue here? Also, make sure that the warranty is still good. Sometimes a manufacturer will knock a few years off of the warranty, and that may still be okay for you. And finally, make sure that the panel has been tested that it's within spec, or if it is a C-grade panel and is not within spec, ask what the production actually is. If you can at least get those three questions answered and you feel like the wholesaler is going to stand behind their product, you can probably buy these panels and get a great deal. That concludes another video. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to hit subscribe if you're new to my channel.